Hi there, so welcome and we want to give you some great news because we have decided to distribute all the introductory open phone training material okay this is the training related to open phone night so we have decided to 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 give back to the community while also we wait with the new new version so we're putting all these videos online so feel free to follow the training and <coughs> and let me give you some housekeeping issues how you should follow this training or what you are expecting or what you need. So basically training is, is, is based in open from version nine. Okay. So in these days, probably we're going to have version 10, but everything is based in open from version nine. Uh, can I use, uh, the ASI version? Yes, you can, but, but have in mind that there are some difference, differences in the dictionary. So it might require some extra work to adjust the dictionary. So if you are new to open phone, my advice, is, my advice is just go and install open phone nine. Everything is a hundred percent compatible. <clears throat> so we're going to address also solid modeling. So for solid modeling, we use some shapes. So you can create a free account. You have the link here. So feel free to go there and we have some videos on that as well. Uh, any other software dependency from time to time, we're going to use Python for plotting, but it's, this is not compulsory, it's just a choice. So we use this version and Anaconda Python. Then you have Paraview. Paraview comes with open phone. However, also we recommend to install the, your, your source, the binary, the, the, the executable that comes with your operating system is the, is, is the easiest way. Then, well, this does not apply. Uh, regarding the Linux distribution, we use OpenSUSE, but again, it's all up to you. But everything that we're going to do in this series of videos is based in OpenSUSE 15.3. Uh, then, very important, the Linux shell also everything and all the scripts are based in bash shell okay so have in mind that depending on the linux version you can have different versions of the of the shell <laughs> so everything is based in bash so if you are in doubt just type this command in, in your terminal windows and then you would see what 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 shell you are using if you are not using the bash shell just type bash and you start to use that uh, big question. Can I run open phone natively in Windows? Yes, you can. And, uh, there is something called Windows subsystem for Linux version two. This is a new one. So we rec strongly recommend to in install this. This is like running native, natively Linux. It's something very similar to Docker for those who knows what, what is Docker. So here you have a, a link to a playlist that we put everything how to install this existing how to install open phone and everything run application so this is the way we would recommend to do it okay so you are you are going to have only a windows terminal or a linux terminal you have all the graphical user interface but it doesn't matter uh, open phone is about typing commands so this is the way we recommend but also you can use a, a linux virtual machine under windows so when you use this virtual machine yes you have the whole graphical user environment you have the windows manager and so on but this one use more resources so we recommend to use Windows Subsystem 2 instead. Uh, here you have a few links, okay? Uh, this one I will put in the, in the video description. You will have all these links, it's stuff like the playlist to the Windows Subsystem, also how to create the Linux virtual machine, everything explained here with the links to download all applications. So everything is ready to use. Uh, we also recommend to visit our, well, you already are in, in our, YouTube page. So just take a look because we have many videos here and so on. So let me talk about the training agenda and how everything is organized and how we recommend you to follow the training. So the course is do it at your own pace. Okay. So, so you want to do it in one year, you do it in one year, but our experience, we have played a lot with this one. We have found that this training, the recommended time, okay, is eight weeks. Okay. So one model or a combination of two models each week plus a small review so we recommend to dedicate at least five hours okay it can be seven hours so less than an hour a day is not too much okay so it's not that much uh to go okay to cover the whole training and will be you no know, in eight weeks you know you will have your last day victory day so we guarantee that in eight weeks you can follow everything and you, you're going to master open for however you can do it 
however you want okay so if you want to start from the last model or model 6 or model 3 whatever is up to you okay but this is how we recommend so if you follow our guidelines this is how it, we say or how how we do it so each week this is what we recommend so we have week one so we address on how housekeeping issues and then introduction to open phone and running fair simulation then we move to week two that again we keep in fair simulation running some other cases and we introduce how to run in parallel week three is a very important one because we introduce solid modeling so this is not we're going we're not going to do only the mesh we're going to generate those geometries and then we move into meshing so this is very important in every cfd workflow okay so very important week then we move to week four and we keep working in mesh generation and a little bit about post-processing uh how to use paraview and sampling quantities and this seems to be stupid on something that people don't look uh, very often but it can be very time consuming okay so here we introduce everything about quantitative and qualitative post-processing week five a little bit more in post-processing and then introduction to the final volume method okay this is the kernel in open phone and many CFD software and commercial software so we start to talk about this we have a numerical playground where we prepare a few cases have to understand how to set up the different uh, numerical schemes, linear solvers, boundary conditions, and so on. Okay, very interesting, uh, <clears throat> very interesting model this one. Week six also, we keep working on this. And something that I want to point out here that then here we start to talk about a little bit implementing your own boundary conditions and a little bit programming so if you are not interested in this just you can completely skip this okay and just focus more in the final volume or another topic then week seven and eight it's just advanced physics okay so again here is you didn't have time to review some of the previous models you can also use these two weeks okay so in week eight big three weeks you will master open fund okay so each module it is composed okay here you have what what we cover in this in each model so model one is the introduction then model two is just solid modeling model three is just dedicated to meshing model four is a very short one so we show how to run in parallel model five is post-processing quantitative and qualitative okay so it's in short here but it's very long there is a lot to do there model six which is the one i like i strongly recommend you to focus on this one the final volume method model seven is a very short one a lot of people i think i found it quite funny because a lot of people is interested in programming but they don't master any of these topics so if you are interested in programming please master first any of uh, all these topics because it doesn't make sense also as it is today open phone i think there is no need to program anything unless it's something very very specific or boundary conditions okay and finally model a is advanced topics stuff like turbulence modeling multi-phase flows compressible flows so we briefly covered that but something very important okay that here you you should be already fully functional set in your own cases please keep an eye on turbulence modeling because uh, CFD is about turbulence it's very important okay so two things that are important in CFD turbulence modeling and also mesh generation and cat because the mesh depends on your geometry so yes this is all this is how everything it is organized and just to conclude here also just want to show you that uh in our web page okay you have the links in the video description here you can download all the training material based no this is open for nine okay so here you have the link so we have we centralize everything in fixture so you go to fixture you can download all the pdf okay also you have all the tutorials it's a big file okay almost three gigs okay so all the tutorials that you need to run open phone so everything is ready to run to run so please feel free to download everything and also i will try to keep an eye in the in the questions in the comment sections to answer but yeah enjoy thank you very much for following us and see you in another video. Bye.